the amount of people which are just not getting this and missing it or skipping it, um, to me, I think it's just very, very detrimental to what you're trying to do and you're making things a lot harder for yourself. So let's just get into it. Right guys, so at this point, um, I'm trying to be more problem solving than, uh, you know, motivational and, and just, I guess, even educational. Uh, because at this point, you know, there's specific problems that people are having that I want to address instead of just, you know, explaining what, I think we've all established what dropshipping is and, and stuff like that. And if you're not uh, subscribed to my channel and you're new, my name's Courtney Marlin. Um, I'm a digital entrepreneur. I do a ton of different things. So I do, I do do e-commerce dropshipping. Um, I also own a digital agency. Um, some of the more standard stuff, but then I also do a lot of software development apps um, and stuff like that. If that, I guess, makes it a bit different from, you know, the typical dropshipper. Um, but this video really is going to concentrate on one single point because the amount of people that, you know, as soon as they start with this, it's always, uh, what's the winning product? Uh, how do I find a niche? And, and, and stuff like that. And all of that is valid. Okay, I'm not disagreeing with any of it. I'm just amazed at the amount of people that forget about this and don't take advantage of it. Um, and just give me a minute to explain it because it is going to require multiple explanations to get to the main thing. So, you know, if you don't have like five minutes of your day to, to employ this, by all means, go watch the, the next YouTube video with some make millions online thumbnail, something like that. Uh, that's up to you. But the first thing that I first want to get into is data. Everything that you are doing in dropshipping rolls around data, whether that's building lookalikes, building customer audience files, researching products, okay? That is something that is just happening. So the amount of people that are not taking advantage of data to make it a lot easier for themselves, to me is confusing. I don't know why that's happening. Um, but a lot of people are just not analyzing trends. And you can literally go to Google Trends and look over the past five years for every single month, what consistently spiked. So for example, um, and this is going more towards the topic now, is, okay, in this coming months, kind of end of end of March, beginning of April, and then going into May, it's getting hot in the United States and in the you know, majority of Europe. It's moving into summer, okay? What happens in summer? Well, a lot of people go and buy things like barbecues. Um, they buy bikinis, they buy costumes, they buy all the water toys, all right? People start going on vacation, so they start buying all that kind of stuff. So to me, it's confusing as to why you would want to be selling a beanie um, at kind of the end of March, beginning April phase. That doesn't make sense because you must remember that the majority of the people that buy are coming from your Western markets just because their economies are built, they have good infrastructure for internet, they're extremely commercially driven and they just have a large consumerism of you know the, the type of dropshipping products you will be selling right so those are the ones which you always want to focus on yes i know australia is another huge one of the big five and they are kind of completely opposite in terms of seasonal stuff uh, but if you look at the overall majority okay those are kind of the things that you have to be looking at because you must remember that when you're doing this on Facebook, you're reaching a majority, not a minority, okay? So kind of get that. Um, so with that in mind, right, why are you not kind of captivating on trends? So for example, when Easter is coming up, it's a good idea to start selling Easter products before Easter. Again, also be ethical and don't cause yourself a lot of problems with chargebacks and stuff. Remember with dropshipping, it does take, you know, about two weeks to, to get orders to these people. So don't try and set up an Easter store like three days before Easter because if anyone buys something, it's not going to get to them in time. Same thing with Christmas. Um, you know, don't, literally don't try and sell Christmas stuff like the week before. You may get a lot of buyers because people leave things to the last moment. But with the knowledge that, you know, stuff's going to take about two weeks to get there, you're going to end up having a lot of people very upset, which means they're going to do chargebacks or they're going to ask refunds and the customer service will go through the roof. And it's just going to cause a huge problem that you can just avoid by, you know, looking at your calendar, using data of what had spikes at certain times of the year, and then really just mapping it out of that. Um, so another example is we have access to when people's birthdays are. So you could literally show the daughter of someone 
a, um, a product three weeks before her mom's birthday and say, hey, um, this is the perfect mom's birthday gift in 2019. Something like that. Um, and that is a lot more appealing because a lot of people are just trying to throw up ads in people's Facebook feeds. And yeah, you can create a really engaging ad and if it's a winning product and you've got a correct price point and a good store and using urgency or scarcity, you will sell it. Fine. But that's a very, very hard and complicated kind of mixture of all the right things that you need to do that realistically the majority are not going to be able to do. Okay, and again, if you're watching this, you are falling into the majority, not the minority. Okay, so you need to be taking advantage of these stuff. So I ask you a question, how many of you have run an ad based purely on data and not your own speculation? So you didn't scroll through AliExpress and with your own opinion decide, okay, that product looks interesting and then let me do all the, the typical you know, research methods. Okay, it's got enough orders, so that checks that box and then it checks the next box and then you, you kind of move through it like that. How many people of you have done that Instead of going to Google Trends or to some of the other places where you can look at data and be like, okay, my opinion doesn't matter. This is what data says people will want at this time. So this is what I'm going to go sell. Then you can go and find, go and use all those tick the box methods to approve a product, but do it based on the assumption that data is going to be underlying everything that you do. And I promise you, if you do that, you will dramatically change uh, the types of results that you get because now you have a product which is suited more to the environment than just your own personal taste because I can tell you and if you ask a lot of dropshippers this they'll probably tell you the same the majority of products that sell all right is not something that you personally would buy yourself so I don't think that I've ever drop shipped successfully I have tried and failed but I've never drop shipped a product successfully that I myself would buy okay um, and there's multiple reasons for that. Number one, it's just um, a lot of the, the niches and stuff that you can make a lot of money in drop shipping just don't appeal to me. Okay, that's a personal thing. Um, but it's more the sense that um, I am not a very engaged shopper. Okay, I don't spend a lot of time in social media, so I'm the wrong person to be asking this. But a lot of the stuff, if you ask drop shippers, they'll tell you this in the same way. Um, I'm just freestyling this, so I haven't like prepared it, so um, I'm kind of thinking off the top of my head. But you, you guys get the main point. Um, please go to Google Trends, use data, test, optimize based on data that Facebook is telling you. People are not watching the whole video, so you have a crappy video. Don't sit there and like, I don't know why my ad's not working. Literally look at the thing. It's telling you people are not watching the video. Your CTR, which is your click-through rate, is low, so you have a crap video. There's the problem. If you've got a high CTR and people are watching the video, but people are not buying the product, then you have a crappy store. Okay? It's the lack of understanding that just look at what's in front of you and analyze. People think that you can just press a few buttons and there you go. Um, it really needs to change. Um, and again, don't want to make this demotivating or anything, but I hope it did carry across the point. Um, so just to end this off, I am still giving away that free consultation call um, that I do every single video. All you have to do is give it a thumbs up, um, comment down below your idea for a next video. It can be anything, SMA, app, software, dropshipping, regardless, myself, personal, whatever you want to see on this channel, go ahead and do that. And of course, subscribe. Um, and then I will choose one person um, and I will go ahead and comment back to you. Um, I'll comment back to everyone anyway, but to you specifically. Then we'll arrange a Skype call, and over Skype you can share your screen with me. I'll look at your store, your ads, everything, and really get more in-depth into your specific problem, and we can become a bit more one-on-one, -on -one, um, and hopefully solve the problem. Uh, we may even do a follow-up call if necessary, um, and really get that going. Um, so with that being said, I hope this was taken to heart by you guys, and I hope it helped. Um, again, I do videos every single day, so I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.